Hi guys, I thought I'd give the Bull server one last blast with Windows Server 2000. I managed to dig a CD out, a genuine hologram disc, and it's just finished installing and this is the first reboot. Fingers crossed. Look at the nice shiny disc. Ooh. So I basically went back to the Avago website for the LSI Mega Raid drivers, but this time I selected the Windows 2000 drivers. There were two different downloads, both the exact same version. Uh, the first download didn't work, it wasn't detected by the setup process, but the second the second download did. Well, when I say it wasn't detected by the setup process, it said there was an, a read error on the floppy disk. So I formatted the disk and tried the second download instead. And uh, well, it's it's working. I've not set a password just for simplicity. It's not going on the network, or will it? And there we go. Get rid of this rubbish. And we can take a look at the specs. So it's detected the Intel Xeon 2.8 processor and 2 gigabytes of RAM. That's probably why Windows 98 didn't want to start up. That's far too much memory. Um, we need to look at device manager I suppose and as I expected everything is missing pretty much the SCSI controller should be down here the Mega Raid there we go Mega Raid SCSI 320-1 I think there's onboard audio I can't remember without turning the lights back on and going around the back of the sh machine. But I think uh, that's probably enough for just this little quick update. I'll go and try and find some drivers. I think this NEC Gem 318 is that um, network, uh, I want to say, integrated lights out style card. But what I'll do, I'll, I'll get some drivers and sort this all out. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already, and follow me at LBX Computers on Twitter.